on to game that's not the best bet candidate, I think. Rotation 429, 430, Tulane at USA, the South Alabama Jaguars. Catching catching eight at home on a total of fifty-two mm-hmm. and a half. I think we both like the Jags. Right? So like, so mm-hmm. like yeah. Why uh-huh. why are we so up on the well I'm up on the Jags, right? Because I think they're a way improved team as as against last year, right? And Tulane is gonna be a little bit down from last year. But uh but yeah, why do you like the Jags? So we called this, right? So this was something that we called. We said that South Alabama was going to cover that game uh, against Southern Miss. Oh, and they did. They won outright. They won that game in a manner that required the Southern Miss coach to either be fired or step down. That's, this is a team that's got a lot of uh, momentum behind it, and I love it. They are opening... Uh, this is their first home mm-hmm. game uh, in a new stadium in Mobile. I don't know what the numbers are, but I'm almost certain that the state of Alabama mm-hmm. is going to allow 25% capacity, 100%. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a hometown crowd that's there, that's excited to watch their Jaguars coming back into their new stadium, bringing back home a W. Uh, and... We saw from uh, the statistics in our uh, Sunbelt preview that the Jaguars are over 70% as a ATS, as a home Yeah, dog. that was unbelievable. Somehow, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so the problem here, Tony, is that they beat Southern Miss. Like, if if this was the first game that both teams played, from a power rating perspective, don't you think Tulane oh should goodness. be favored hang by on, on. Okay. eighteen if points? We, if we asked, if we went to Sager and Sager right? would put it at eleven. You would put the nine at so like well somewhere between four and eleven. You know what I mean? Like the predictor would be ten point four, and then the recent rather the golden mean would be four. So, I mean, it goes, yeah, it, it's a range. Actually, I misread it. In certain ratings, USA would be favored. I'm assuming solely on the strength of their previous victory. Mm, perhaps. And, I mean, Tulane also has that um, really yeah, low we expect. Yeah, exactly, right. It's because well. they're two teams headed and in so opposite it, directions, and then we just get... Oh, we get the points, right? Like, that's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's not neat. What, what I'm saying is I would imagine that they would... So they were a 14-point dog, um, maybe 13, depending on where the line closed. But they were, let's say, a 14-point dog to Southern Miss. Um, using the transitive property of college football, uh, Southern Miss lost a bowl game to Tulane by, I think, 10 points or 14 points, something like that. So you would think that they would be more than a 14-point dog in this matchup by that transitive property. Uh, no? Yes, I suppose that is fair, although those were all different teams than the one we have. Sure, of course. But I'm saying if this if this I mean, was you're week right. one, it would be double digits, right? And we didn't yeah, and it, we didn't know that Desmond Trotter could win a game. It, game. it should yeah. be double digits. It should be at it should be at a minimum eleven and a half, twelve, and this is nine. So um, I'm gonna bet on this game. I think the Jaguars are also gonna win outright, or I really want them to win outright. But I will be betting them as a home dog. Um, I just wish that they were clobbered by Southern Miss so we could get them as a 14 no, point I'm, dog. But that's I, I not going to happen. I'm Go Jacks. way more excited for this game. I expect USA's O-line to do a good job again. They did a good job last week. I expect them to do a good job again. Like, this team, like, this is a guy, this is a coach in his third year, and typically, right, the third year is when things start to pick up for a, for a new guy. I think USA is turning that corner. I am, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to be on them here. 
I mean, I, if anything, the eight is kind of trappy. Like, the eight is really screaming for you to bet on the green wave. Because, like, you're supposed to look at this American Athletic Conference team, like a team competitive in the AAC, and you're supposed to think, oh, they'll take care of USA. Like, not so fast. I'm, yeah, USA might win the game. Yeah, they're, as I've said about Tulane in the a few times here, their entire offense mm-hmm. went through their QB, Jimmy McMillan, who was a running QB. That's, that's their entire offense went through him. Um, and he's and he's not returning. I don't know about the rest of the the uh, the the team, uh, but I also believe that they're in they're in the bottom of the AAC uh, for returning production as well. Um, and when you lose a quarterback that's like really really integral to your team, uh, then um, and you don't you're not like an Oklahoma yep. where you get five star talent all the time <laughs> when when you're that's too right. late. Yeah, because yeah, really we ain't, no ain't, nobody here is disrespecting Willie Fritz. It just is. It just is what it is. USA can Mm-mm, play with no. you, and it's gonna be a close game. Yeah, um, absolutely. So um, so we got one more. We got one more game on the list here. Austin P at Pitt. <laughs> 